Hey folks, Matt with Zulu Bravo. I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about pocket sheaths, their proper design, and why my sheaths are set up the way that they are. So a pocket sheath is a sheath for a fixed blade that's meant to be carried, obviously, inside of a pocket. It'll have a hook on it that will engage the inside of the pocket and allow the knife to be stripped free of the sheath on the draw stroke, as so. Knife goes into the pocket as I draw it out. Hook catches the inside of the pocket and allows the blade to be drawn clear of the sheath. So, as pocket sheaths have gotten more popular and more and more people are making them, there are some issues that can arise from how many makers design their sheaths and specifically where they place the hook on their sheaths. You'll notice that many makers of pocket sheaths put this hook right here at the mouth of the sheath. And the problem with that is grip clearance. If I draw this knife and I establish a full grip, the hook ends up being basically right in line with my knuckles. And it makes it very difficult to establish a full grip and be able to draw the knife effectively. So, with the knife here in the pocket, again, think about the hook being right here at the mouth of the sheath. I'm forced to draw up and try and establish a full grip with the knife very close to my body before engaging the hook. Or, what tends to happen more, is that you draw the knife with this rather tenuous pinch grip and engage the hook um, right here at the mouth of the sheath as it comes out. The issue with that is that if there's any sort of snag or you're dealing with uh, any type of pressure as you're doing this, whether it's in-fight weapons access, whether uh, you, know, you trip or just the stress of actually having to draw the knife uh, makes you fumble it, it's much, much easier to drop the knife. For me, any of my sheaths are designed so that the pocket uh, hook is dropped way down. You'll notice about midpoint on the sheath. The reason for this is entirely grip clearance. You'll notice I can establish a full grip and there's a lot of room left between the line of my knuckles and the hook. The reason for this is that as the knife is dropped into the pocket, I can figure out where it is, fish in for the knife, draw it up, and establish a full grip before I've ever engaged the pocket hook. Now it's easy for me to draw the knife straight up into a strike. That initial slap the pocket, fish in for it, and bracing right here at the hip before I draw the knife is very analogous to drawing a folder. If you use, like, say, a Chris Fry's a stab methodology of slap, tuck, access, and then bracing the knife right here at the hip in order to be able to not only better control uh, where, what the knife's doing, but also to be able to deal with any type of pressure from an opponent. It's very analogous to that same draw stroke, again, with the fixed blade of where I locate it, fish in for it, and now I can establish that full grip and rip the sheath off of the knife. So that bracing remains consistent whether I'm drawing a folder from the pocket or whether I'm establishing the grip on a pocket carried fixed blade. It also remains consistent regardless of the orientation of the fixed blade within the pocket. So whether I'm drawing into the call, reverse grip edge in, whether I'm drawing into a forward grip edge up, or whether I'm drawing into a forward grip edge out, you'll notice on all of those I'm able to draw and again establish this at my hip. That consistency is a positive thing to have a similar methodology of draw from any knife carried in the pocket, regardless of whether it's a folder, regardless of whether it's a fixed blade. That ability to be able to access and have those consistent steps along the way is a very positive thing that will help to make your draw stroke more robust. The final thing I want to discuss is which side of the sheath the hook is placed on. Uh, you'll notice a lot of makers end up putting the hook on the edge side of the knife, and that's not as effective of a design in my opinion. Um, what you end up with is a, a pocket sheath that's not as safe or easy to draw. This is a Shipworks Disciple made by Bantang, and it's a reverse edge knife, meaning it's backwards. The sharpened edge is on the side of the knife that's facing my body. If this had a pocket sheath with a hook up here near the mouth and of the sheath and uh, on the edge side, you can see how it'd be real difficult uh, and I got to be very conscientious not to either cut myself or to cut my pocket as I draw the knife up or I have to get to some kind of ridiculous, you know, outward motion. All of my pocket sheaths have the hook placed on the spine side of the knife and the reason for this is twofold. 
The first is that it's safer to draw. When I'm drawing with the spine forward, I'm not going to cut with the unsharpened spine whatever is in that path. So it's easier for me to draw safely because I'm not having to be as conscientious about, you know, moving the edge in the same direction as my path of travel. I'm moving the unsharpened spine instead of moving the edge, so it's safer to draw. The other benefit to having the hook on the spine side of the knife is that it helps me to maintain a forward draw stroke. We want to avoid any kind of draw that requires us to bring our hand far out away from our body. Uh, any grapplers out there are going to instantly recognize the window of opportunity that this provides. Having a forward draw stroke enables me to maintain much tighter body mechanics. So again, a slap, figure out where the knife's at, index, brace here at my hip, and now I can draw straight out into a strike. Done had a little bit better speed, what you end up with is a draw stroke that comes entirely forward. So not only is it faster, not only is it safer because you aren't, uh, again, uh, pushing the cutting edge in the same uh, direction of travel, but it enables you to, again, maintain that more forward draw stroke, just like we'd want for a pistol, just like we'd want for any type of unarmed delivery. But I can get in here and be able to draw straight forward. Whether that's drawing into the call, or whether that's drawing the knife into forward grip, edge out, I can do that same thing. Where once I've got the knife here, again, I can draw straight up and out and have that forward draw stroke. You'll notice it doesn't need to be any of these kind of motions, it doesn't need to be anything backwards, where again, we provide that window of opportunity to an opponent. So there's a few things to keep an eye out for as you're looking for pocket sheaths. Again, that grip clearance between the hook and the knuckle to allow you to establish a full grip on the draw, as well as a sheath and hook design that allows and encourages a forward draw stroke. You know, if you come across a maker who's doing uh, pocket sheaths without considering those design elements, it's important to ask yourself, why not? Thanks for watching. I hope this has been interesting to you and you've learned a little bit about proper pocket sheath design. You can reach me through my website, Zulu Bravo Kydex. Dot com. And as always, stay dangerous.